today's video, we're going to be talking about my first time. Actually, no, that came across more scary, if anything. <laughs> But yeah, I've got a bunch of questions here and it's all about my first what? My first kiss, my first pet. So yeah, it's a very simple video, don't really need to explain, let's get straight into it. My first movie, my first movie I ever watched I think was Never Ending Story. And honestly, that messed me up. I was scared of the flying dog, I was scared of the dog in the bush, I was scared of the sneezing turtle. It traumatised me. The horse scene definitely traumatised me. And also, the curtains was in, I really fancied them. My first pet, now I've had many pets in my life, I've always wanted to be a pet person person or an animal person but turns out I don't think I'm much of an animal person. I like to be, I like the mindset but I really am, you know? So my first ever pet I think was a stick insect. My mum didn't think I had the responsibility and stick insects honestly used to cost like a pound. After stick insects we then moved to fish, after fish we moved to guinea pigs and then my guinea pigs that were two girls actually ended up having loads of babies and then after the guinea pigs we got Dawkins the tortoise which we have now, uh, yes he's still about, he's in the garden. My first job, I've said this many times, I worked at Santa's Grotto and I was an elf, but I wasn't like the elf, I was the person at the gate having to deal with the public while being in character. So I had these parents shouting at me like, why can't I bring my push chair in? And I had to stay in character like, Santa doesn't want you to have a push chair in. And sometimes I was just like, just but there was little kids and I had to stay in character. That was exhausted. I came home and like, cause obviously I was smiling all day in character for eight hours, just like this. First thing I do when I get home, no matter what, obviously take off my shoes. I don't trust people that wear shoes in the house. Then I always get in my comfies. I can't just sit around the house in jeans. That's also weird. I have to get in my pajamas and then I'll go to my PC and browse on my PC. First person you text in the morning. Aw, I feel like you guys all know the answer for that one and I'm not bringing him into this video. <laughs> first celebrity crush. Now obviously I would say like, never ending story but I think that my first proper one was Peter Pan. This one right here. Actually no, my first crush. Listen, 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 listen. Milo out of the tweenies. I wish I was joking. I don't know what it was. And also Bart Simpson. Bart Simpson and Milo out of tweenies. Oh my god. And then I had Raven from CBBC. Let the challenge begin. <laughs> my first kiss. My first kiss was on Valentine's Day in primary school and I dated the person for about an hour at playtime. I ran up to him, asked him to be my boyfriend. Um, he came back 20 minutes later, ran up to me and said yes. Um, and then I was like, we should probably kiss. And we did a little peck. And then we never spoke to each other after that. <laughs> first boyfriend. Well, was that one even if it was just for an hour at playtime that was my first boyfriend and then I had another one in secondary school which again I asked out over Xbox like I texted it on Xbox through a controller and then he said yeah and then we turned up to school the next day and we acted like we never knew each other so it took about a week for us to actually approach each other and then start holding hands and stuff and I just remember feeling so good walking around the playground holding hands first song you remember singing now I don't know a specific song but obviously growing up I had my CD player and I kind of just had all my brothers hand me down CDs and I remember Teenage Dirtbag being one that I knew all the lyrics to. There was some Linkin Park in there and then obviously I was obsessed with Eminem when I was younger. I had the dungarees, I had the hockey mask, like that was me. So I learned all the words to When I'm Gone by Eminem. <laughs> Little 10 year old bakey. So when I'm gone, just carry on. Your first tattoo. My first tattoo ever was this Deathly Hallows right here. I went in not knowing what I was going to get um, and it cost about 50 quid and I didn't know it was going to be that big uh, and it was just there. Basically it was me being a support because my sister-in-law wanted to get a tattoo and then she was like I'll only get a tattoo if you get one so uh that was that was it I, I had to think on the spot and at the time I was just like Harry Potter Harry Potter your first car my first car was a Volkswagen Polo you'll know it as the one that hit into the wall whilst running over a bath bomb I loved it it was very loud I turned that car on and my whole head would shake it was about 500 pounds um and it was it was amazing I loved it and it was actually called Snape and all my friends it wasn't just on YouTube it wasn't just me calling it Snape all my friends knew it as Snape. And at college, everyone just like bundled in and was like, let's go. First concert. Oh my goodness. Like, I feel like my first concerts all happened very close to each other. So I would say like, Justin Bieber, Eminem, Take That, and Depleche Mode were all my first few, which is a mad mix if you think about it. First time cooking a meal. I cooked stir fry the other day actually, but normally I just go for a beans on toast or a potato waffle with beans and an egg on top. 
you guys won't believe this, but I used to be obsessed with cooking at the age of like 15. I used to like cook and bake everything. I'll come home, bake scones, I'll come home and cook some paella. So I don't know where it went, but yeah, I did used to be obsessed with cooking and baking back when I was at school. I used to love food tech and stuff like that. But that slowly went away like every other hobby of mine. <laughs> first time meeting a celebrity. I'd say my first proper celebrity was David Tennant. Let me just put the picture here because it doesn't feel real. It still looks photoshopped to me. Honestly, I don't feel like I met David Tennant. That's nothing against him because he was really nice and like still smiling after meeting a thousand people. But legit, I walked in, hugged, smiled and left. It was three seconds. I didn't even register what happened. I just blanked out for three seconds. And then I had this picture that I just don't resonate with. Resonate. Ooh, that's a big word, Bakey. First time moving away from home. <sighs> that still hasn't happened yet. But there will be a first one day, I can promise you that. I really want it badly now. I was moving my brother out the other day. And I don't know why I get so excited when I'm not the one moving. But moving boxes, talking and planning, it just gets me so excited. And then going to Ikea with them and then planning out their bathroom and kitchen. Like, I need it. I want it. First hobby or interest. There's been so many. Where do I even begin? I feel like my first hobby or interest would have been... I love free running, but I think football was my first because I was about four years old when I got into football. I used to go and watch my brother play and I'll kick a ball around on the sidelines and then they'll be like, does Sophie want to play? So my brother like being like, oh, my little sister's going to play in the same team as me and be better than me. <laughs> But yeah, I think that was my first interest was football, but then shortly after it was like BMX in and free running. First time overcoming a fear. I feel like my main fear would have been dogs and I have overcome that, which is mad to me because it ruined a lot of my life. Like I couldn't go to parks, I couldn't go to beaches. I could never really go out by myself because I was scared I was going to run into a dog. I couldn't go around my friend's house who had dogs and honestly, dogs were everywhere. So it stopped me doing a lot of things that I love to do. Like I loved football when I was younger. I couldn't go to the park because there was dogs there. So I stand with anyone who's got a fear of dogs i know how difficult it can be i overcame that when i met my friend's dog who was obviously friendly and relaxed and i did just have a little bit of the bubbly and once i got used to that dog i was used to other dogs so what i would advise you to do meet a friend's dog like put it on the lead and slowly approach and slowly get better and better like i tried in the past like hypnotherapy and it worked for about a week and then it wore off so yeah that was the way i overcame it and the final question is my first cd my first cd was eminem curtain call and that was only because i had all my brothers hand me down cds and then i scratched the curtain call one and I loved it so I had to go and replace it so technically that was my first CD but obviously I had loads of other CDs there like I had Tenacious D, Linkin Park, Oasis like there was, there was many CDs and yeah that is all my first time questions I hope you learned a little bit more about me and some new things maybe if you enjoyed give a big thumbs up for me make sure you buy the merch at thebakey.com I would appreciate it so much and look how cool it looks please 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 go in the comments down below and let me know any other video ideas I want to film as much as I can so please give me some ideas in the comments down below. Hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys very, very soon with another video. Bye!